Hello, my name is Guy Hanson. I'm Director of Exhibitions here at the National Library of Australia. Today, I'd like to talk to you about our new exhibition, which we've just installed. It's called Illustrating the Antipodes, George French Angus in Australia and New Zealand. Angus is a fascinating figure. He was the son of one of South Australia's colonial founders. He's best known for his watercolours and drawings of the colonial frontiers in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. This exhibition looks at the work he did in Australia and New Zealand. His drawings and sketches capture in minute detail the landscapes, plants, animals, objects and people he encountered. These beautiful artworks transport us back to the early days of the South Australian colony and record what the young Angus saw on his journeys. Angus was very much part of the broader colonial project which would lead to the dispossession of Indigenous people. While Angus was one of the colonisers, his work is striking for its accurate and sympathetic portrayal of First Nations people. The images he produced stand as a record of how things were before these places would be transformed by colonisation. Angus was a witness of the changes which were occurring and we see what he saw through the drawings and artworks which survived in the collections of the National Library of Australia and the South Australian Museum. One of the reasons that Angus is remembered is that he published his watercolours as lithographs. These were brought together in these beautiful books, South Australia Illustrated and New Zealand Illustrated. It was through these beautiful prints that the rest of the world began to encounter images of Australia and New Zealand. This exhibition has been curated by Philip Jones, a senior curator from the South Australian Museum. Philip began researching this subject over a decade ago when he was a recipient of a Harold White Fellowship at the library. This allowed Philip to do a deep dive into the wonderful archive we have of Angus material here at the library. 